had uh, the pleasant surprise, a visit from uh, city manager Christopher Murray. We wanted to give him a little taste, uh, if you will, a day in the life. So uh, we've geared him up, put him in a full set of uh, bunker gear and uh, took him on uh, a bit of a, a ride in the vehicle. He was at the nozzle while we uh, had him extinguish uh, a car fire, a simulated car fire. And the techniques for putting out fires such as a car fire, you just don't walk up to it and start putting water on it. So there's a lot of science behind this, uh, this service and these men and women uh, you know, risk their lives as we know. Uh, to look after us. Most people, unless they've experienced it firsthand, they don't really know the, the ins and outs. They, they, they know the big picture. Uh, in the event of an emergency, you call the fire department and they think, you know, you put the wet stuff on the red stuff. It's important to know the environment uh, that we're in, the gear that we wear. You've got a sense of, you know, it's a hot day, you're wearing what is equivalent of, uh, of a snowsuit, essentially. And um, the techniques that are involved, just to see how the crew works together. Each person has their, their role to play. This is our CAD system. I'm Gail Morrison. I'm a communications officer with the Hamilton Fire Department. When someone calls 911 and asks for fire, we get the call, and at that point, we would dispatch the proper recommendation that would go to the particular incident that you're calling about. I think what's really important for people to know is not just about making that 911 call and those people that are there at the end of the line to do everything they can to make sure that your worst day is going to be uh, managed as best as possible. I mean, yeah, they take the call, they dispatch the service, but what I didn't know was that they stay on that call. So they're listening to the conversations that are going on with all the leaders that are out there fighting the fire. Every time you walk in the door here, you never know what you're going to get. You could get 100 calls or you could get 20 calls. Ryan took me to a building up on the mountain, uh, one of our city housing buildings, and uh, took me through his paces to make sure that everyone there is safe. So we had Chris Murray today with us uh, along for an inspection, so we had him in there. Uh, checking some smoke alarms and uh, checking other equipment. It's good to have them come out and see what, what we do. It's nice to get the message out to people about being safe and uh, all the fire safety, uh, make sure they're maintaining their buildings so people are safe. So if there is a fire, uh, people are going to be safe. They're going to be able to get out so that our guys can get in and put the fire out. I share actually the same appreciation that our citizens do. People have such great respect for what they do and they know in their worst moments uh, the men and women are there to uh, uh, to help people, you know, they save lives, they look after people, and, and that's everyone from the equipment person to the inspections person to the dispatch to the firefighters themselves. It's one of those services that we so value in the community. So, I mean, when we talk about, you know, best place to raise a child and age successfully, I mean, that, that's a community aspiration, and, uh, and the fire service is critically important part of the community. We want to do whatever we can as a department to ensure that uh, our communities are safe. It was great. I was happy that he came to see what we actually do. It shows to us that he cares. It, it's interesting having someone else along uh, watching what we're, we're inspecting and seeing what we're doing. It's, it's nice to be able to pass that message along. Sensational service. They're there when you need them the most. 